is it like, you know, when I tell my daughter to tidy her room, she sort of shuffles things about a bit. She doesn't actually get rid or do do anything. She just kind of shuffles it about. Or is that too simplistic? Like the floor drape, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think no. I think it. I mean, I think it's like uh, or she having, puts it in a drawer, maybe. I think she's if she's got an empty <laughs> wardrobe and she just shoves everything inside of it. It's probably a bit like that. Whether she's hanging it on coat hangers and it's going to stay there, that's the big uh, question in, in, in that analogy. And that's what we kind of don't know the answer to. Is you know, in twenty, thirty years, is that that's still going to be there or we're going to have to do something else to, to get it back again. To torture your analogy, right? So your daughter's <laughs> just got, got, the, got her clothes and shoved them in the bottom mm. of the wardrobe and shut the doors. My point was better there than on the living room carpet. Mm. And, and to, to, to really use that really simple kind of allegory there, that, that is kind of what I was trying to put to Alex. Surely better to have 80, 90, 70, 30% of the carbon taken out of the atmosphere, than none of it taken out of the atmosphere. And I just wonder whether actually that question that I put to, you know, to friends of the earth in general, are you just so revolted by the notion that these companies should get any kind of public funding that you just can't find it in yourself to support this? If that's, you know, as a, a phrase you used before we came on air, actually, the, the, the perfect being the enemy of the good.